Hello everyone, this is Mr. Barnard here. I am going to show you um, the next step in uh, your uh, project after you've edited your clips and that is basically mixing and mastering your project. Okay, there's some things that we're going to do as far as balancing out your tracks. Uh, we're going to do what's called track panning which is basically putting one track in the left ear of your headphones and one track in the right ear of your headphones which will help balance out uh, the sound uh, in your project. Then another thing we're going to do is um, add some effects to your project. Basically we're just going to add some reverb uh, to the project. Uh, this helps soften up uh, the project, kind of hide some of the imperfections um, in the recording and um, makes it sound more like a, a studio or a, a just a, I guess just a better quality uh, product than just a real dry recording. Okay, so before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and play my project here for you. So you can listen to my editing that I did here. You can hear that it's pretty seamless, which is basically what we want. So a nice clean break in there. Nothing's cut off. There's no space in between. That would be pretty obvious. Okay, so we've got that there. And also the ending, you wanna make sure that your ending's not cut off either. Okay, so a really nice clean uh, edited project right there with the clarinet trio. Okay, so the next step we want to do is we want to balance out our tracks. So if you look, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this back. You've got your tracks that I show here. Okay, so again, to show you your track levels, I'm just going to click and pull. Basically, I'm just pulling on this thing right over here. Okay, so I can see my track volumes. Okay, so I can mess around with these. Let's see, I'm playing with these. Okay, so we want to balance this out. Okay, so the first track is your melody track. So for the most part, you're going to probably want that louder than your other tracks. Okay. And for this particular piece, I do like the third part, the, the low clarinet sound. So I'm going to have that one a little bit hotter than the second part. I'm going to turn that first part down just a little bit. And this is pretty balanced. Okay, so basically, that's how I balance my tracks. So I just go from track to track here and just check out the levels. Okay, all right. So now all the, the tracks are played in all, in both ears. Okay, so we want to um, do what's called track panning. So what I'm gonna do is click on this tool up here. Okay, right here, it looks like a bunch of knobs here. Um, I'm gonna click on that. And we're gonna check out our tracks. So again, you see track volume here. And right here is what we're gonna mess with, track pan. So again, this basically takes our uh, tracks and we can move them to different ears of our headphones. So the first track, being the melody, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to mess with it. I want it in both ears. Okay. So I'm going to go on to track two. Okay. And I'm going to pan this one over to the left. So again, I'm going to click right here and just basically drag my finger, move that track over into that ear okay and then I'm gonna to go to track three and I'm gonna take that one and move it over to the right okay and you're probably not gonna notice it in this recording but with headphones on you might notice a difference in sound okay so let me just play a little bit of this Okay, so partly on this video we can't hear a difference, but in headphones you can. And in fact, you might even notice that you might need to rebalance uh, your tracks, because now that 
you've bounced, uh, you've moved different parts, different tracks into different ears, you're going to notice that it kind of clears up uh, your, your uh, tracks a little bit where you can balance them a little bit better. Okay? So that's basically all you got to do for track painting. Okay? So that's basically it for the volume levels. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of master effects. So again, I'm going to go back to this button over here. Okay, now on the bottom of here I have master effects. If I click on that, we have here echo and reverb. Um, for the purpose of this project being an all acoustic project and it being chamber music, we don't need to mess with echo. Okay, we're only going to mess with reverb. So if we press on that, I already have mine defaulted to cathedral. Okay, it's going to give a nice resonance in the sound. Okay, so you have all sorts of different types of um, settings that you can put your reverb in. So, again, I chose Cathedral. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And that shows up there. Okay, but we're not done yet. Okay, the reverb is not set. We still have to set the reverb. So again, if I click on one track here, and I go over here again, Okay, you'll see here we have reverb level. Okay, so basically, if I take this reverb and move it, okay, we're going to add just a little bit of resonance in our sound. If I move it way over too much, it's going to bleed over. Okay, so let me just play a little bit of that. So you can hear how. See how that kind of bleeds over? It's just too much. So if I bring that down. That's about all I need for this. Okay, so we don't want too much of that in there. Um, just like when we did with editing, I can click on the bottom here. I can click select all, and all tracks will light up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And I can set my reverb level how I want it for all tracks. I can play and listen to it. And then I can mess with it a little bit. And, and you, I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but um, with some headphones on, you're going to hear some nice resonance, especially at the ends of phrases. I'm just going to turn this down just a little bit on the reverb, not too much. So it gives a nice ending softens up the sound. I kind of consider it like uh, the musical equivalent of airbrushing a photo, so to speak. So that is your reverb. And that is basically it with the project as far as uh, mixing and mastering. Okay. So if you have any questions about uh, mixing or mastering, uh, please email me. If you got any questions about editing, please watch the previous video. Um, or send me an email and I'd be glad to help out. Okay, the next video I'll submit is uh, basically how to submit this project into Canvas. Okay, all right, thank you very much, everyone.